hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel my name is claudia for those who are new here welcome and if you're watching this video or oh, it's your first time to come across this youtube channel consider subscribing it's free so so on today's video we are diving into a very interesting topic what are harabs are doing to jamaicans and jamaica from the cultural exchanges to economic investments the relationship between Arabs and Jamaicans is evolving. So let's unpack this. So this is the reality all Jamaicans should know. So Jamaica, known for its vibrant culture, rich history and resilience, is witnessing a unique shift that is catching the attention of many. The growing presence and influence of Arabs on the highland. But what does this mean for the Jamaican people? Let's explore what Arabs are doing in the Jamaica and how it's impacting the local uh, landscape. As you all know that, Arabs have been part of Jamaican's uh, business scene for decades. Running small uh, to large enterprises from the corner stores and wholesale outlets to more prominent ventures. And these businesses are often found in bustling markets and urban areas, contributing, uh, contributing to the economy while offering goods uh, at a competitive prices. But it's not just about uh, business. Arab in Jamaica are also bringing their own cultural practices, leading to exchanges that are sometimes met with curiosity and at other times, skepticism while others are religious uh, are religious practices and traditions contributing uh, to the island's cultural diversity but questions arise about the integration and respect for the jamaican customs so my question is what are harabs really doing in jamaica they are shaping parts of the economy, adding to the cultural fabric and creating new dynamics that Jamaicans must navigate. The future of this relationship depends on, depends on a mutual understanding, a respect, and a shared vision for the island we, call, we all call uh, home. So let us know your views on the growing Arab presence in Jamaica. How does it impact you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And so, as we dive deeper, it's essential to highlight the real stories that shows uh, both sides of this evolving relationship. Some Jamaicans have benefited from employment opportunities provided by the Arab-owned businesses, while others have experienced challenges that uh, come with cultural differences. So, if you are one of them, you are watching this video, comment down below. Let me know your story so on the other hand too um there are stories of arab business owners contributing positively by funding local in initiatives supporting youth programs and even collaborating with uh, charities to provide aid and these acts are reminders that not everything is black and white and beyond businesses and community programs there are also uh, families being formed, uh, formed where Jamaicans and Arabs come together, creating multicultural households that embody the potential uh, for harmony. And these families face their unique set of challenges, but also bring a hopeful uh, perspective for the future. So, if you're one of them, just comment down below. Let's keep this conversation going. And at the end of the day, Jamaica's strength has always been its people's ability to adapt, to absorb, and to transform influences into something unique. So the growing presence of Arabs brings the challenges and opportunities alike. The question is, will this chapter strengthen Jamaica's most cultural legacy or test its unity? I've been watching a lot of videos in the streets of Kingston. And it's clear that Arab-owned businesses have established a significant presence. 
from wholesale outlets to corner shops that cater to the uh, everyday needs of Jamaicans. Their impact on the local economy is undeniable. But what does this mean for Jamaican small business owners and customers? These businesses have carved out an inch by importing goods in bulk, enabling them to offer lower prices than many local vendors. And while this affordability benefits everyday shopper, it places immense pressure on small Jamaican-owned uh, businesses trying to compete. And these dynamics are sparked debate about economic equality and support for the local uh, entrepreneurship. Yet it's not, uh, it's not only the economic realm where this infant is felt. The cultural landscape of Jamaica, already, uh, already a blend of African, European and also Indian heritage is experiencing new uh, layers with the presence of Arab traditions and the customs. Arabic food, language, religious practices are becoming more visible, particularly in areas with a, a higher concentration of these communities. And for some, these are welcome addition enriching the cultural uh, tapestry of the highland and for others it raises questions will these new influences enhance the jamaican's uh, identity or dilute it the answer as with many cultural uh, intersections is complex it often lies in how integration is managed and whether mutual respect is uh, nurtured between the communities and also the next generation may hold the key, uh, the key to fostering unity. Schools and community programs that encourage uh, cultural exchanges are already sowing seeds of understanding. And here, children learn not only to coexist, but to appreciate the rich diversity that shapes, the new, the, shapes their environment. And uh, this initiative highlights the potential for learning from one, ana uh, one another rather than simply coexisting in parallel worlds. And also note that events that celebrate both Jamaican and Arab uh, traditions create spaces where barriers begin to fade. Food stalls offering uh, jack chicken alongside shawarma music blending reggae with Middle Eastern melodies, these moments capture what could be a powerful um, synergy. But uh, beneath this service of coexistence, challenges persist. Social and economic uh, disparities can fuel uh, resentment, if not undressed. Jamaicans have long prided themselves on uh, resilience and unity. And navigating these new dynamics requires looking inward. Are we building bridges all wars? Are we welcoming diversity while protecting our identity? And uh, as more Arabs families settle and businesses thrive, the dialogue about what this means uh, for Jamaica must continue. Policies that support both local and foreign-owned businesses, community initiative, and the foster dialogue and cultural respect on all sides are essential steps forward. This country called Jamaica has always been a melting point of cultures and each influence adding a new layer to its story. The presence of Arabs on the island can be a chapter that enriches all challenges this narrative. And the future depends on uh, on how these pages are written together with mutual understanding and respect. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Share your views below. What do you think about the growing uh, presence of Arabs in Jamaica? Do you see it as a challenge or an opportunity? Don't forget to like, to subscribe and to join uh, me for more deep dives into stories that shape our world. See you in the next video. Walk good.